well. Yo! Thank you. Uh, too much gaming, and we are doing a little bit of an Uncharted retrospect since Uncharted 4 is coming. We're actually pretty excited about it. Uh, we'll do a little bit of a rundown, a little discussion of, you know, of, of the series up to this point, from one all the way up to the third one, and with you know the fourth coming, ending it on May 10th. Yeah, so Uncharted 4 is coming out on May 10th. We got our hands on the Uncharted collection. Yep, that's Uncharted 3 right over there. We got... Um, we actually one. have the games, but Uncharted... Don't ask why we have the stuff, and we... Yeah, but... Uh, that, that doesn't really... The collection is on, on the PS4. <laughs> yep, so you so can pick You can have all the, four games on your PS4. The remastered uh, versions of 1 to, th one to 3 on yep. your PlayStation 4. This is available right now. So, if you're interested in the series at all, and uh, hopefully after watching this video you will be, uh, it's a great buy for that. So, uh, let's, I guess we should start, start off with, with the, of the course, first the one. Start with the first one, which is and, Drake's Fortune. And this was like a brand new IP. For Naughty Dog. For the PlayStation 3 when it was when mm -hmm. it came out, right? Naughty Dog was actually known for uh, Jack and Daxter, mm -hmm. and way back, like in a couple of years before that, that was uh, they were more known for Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot. Yep. yep. So and something like this was really a little uh, like unexpected in a way. Right? It was very unexpected, and it was actually one of those big project um, work for Naughty Dog because they were like thinking of something they wanted to really push the PS3 mm. in their limits. And um, at the time when Drake came out, when Drake's Fortune came out, it was one of the most spectacular, visually stunning games. Yep. Yeah, with stellar mocap cutscenes, mm -hmm. very cinematic presentation, it, it, and generally solid third-person gameplay. Right, it was really one of the better games of the PlayStation 3 at the, at the time, time. At the time, yeah. And it still holds up to the, today. Mm, like, uh, the in the collection particularly, like, all the textures look super clean. Gameplay is more or less the same. Yep. It's mm -hmm. just really spot-on clean. Frame rate doesn't drop or anything. So it's, it's a good port. And this game came out in November 19 in 2007, and it was a big... It's actually a, a shock. Long time ago. It's not only a shocker as it being a visual, uh, a stunning game visually and like graphically. Then the characters, the characters of the game started to seep in. They were actually the banter was amazing. I'm seeing Nathan Drake, Victor Sullivan, and then even Elena Fisher being a, actually a, not only a likable character but also a very strong character. Yeah, mm. she wasn't a damsel in distress. Oh, she was not. Like she not was. This game. She was literally like going toe to toe with with Nate. She you gives know. you a gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the start in the gun. Actually, with the start of Uncharted One, it's like straight up, bam! They're in a horrible position. They're like grabbing something underwater when they get the coffin out. I mean, you give her the gun there. Yeah. yeah. But then after that, she gives you the gun as you run away. Yeah. From all these dudes. But yeah. that's uh, that's actually what kind of draws you into that game is that it starts you off like right in the middle of things already. Mm. You know, going on. There's no, you know, then the, and the slowly like. After yeah, after this initial scene that really gets you you know gripped into it, it starts to explain the backstory a little bit, and you know off it goes from there. And uh, you know for anyone who's familiar with the Uncharted series, the the the, the, the titular character, uh, titular character, sorry, uh, Nathan Drake is a sort of a treasure hunter, uh, same vein as I guess Indiana Jones. That's the best uh, uh, reference you can Indiana yeah, Jones, kind of right? So it, it's kind of it, it's got that same. Feeling also the sort of archaeology mystery action sort of uh, setting, you know. So you're you're going off into these long lost places. You're fighting off like bad guys who want treasure and, and things like that. And and I, I feel like that sort of a uh, storyline hasn't been like up till that point. Yeah, we had stuff like Tomb Raider, for example. But this was the first time we've really seen it done so well that yeah, it, think, it sort yeah. of reignited that genre in a way. You know? Pretty much like um like the best kind. Of, at that point, we didn't get those like really wild set pieces no no that no would be very yeah. like very cinematic where oh, it's like oh you're actually playing like an indiana like film and then it, it's the thing where if an old person sees you playing the game like what movie is that yeah and okay. that's usually the comparison whenever you play um any uncharted game where it's very cinematic it's very movie-esque mm. with, with really convincing like voice acting and mocap right right yeah so it was it pretty much surprised everybody and i think that that's what naughty dog wanted to do when they introduced uncharted and they got rave reviews they got amazing reviews mm. and all that it was one of the best titles for the early playstation 3 library yep uh actually one of the games that made me want to buy a playstation 3 and right next after that maybe after two years when Uncharted 1 came out, then came, of course, a sequel. Mm -hmm. Because the sequel, with the success of Uncharted, of course, they, they brought up a sequel. And for me, personally, I think this is the best one out of the three. Mm -hmm. um, Uncharted Among Thieves, they just pretty much ramped up everything. Yeah, everything everything, like, everything one, was just... Like, they, they got the, the, the foundation of Uncharted 
they they got what they want to do with this. They got the characters jotted down. They just ramped up everything. The this, set pieces were set way pieces. crazier. Yeah. And they, even the whole, like... Because Uncharted 1 was very much still a video game where, like, you go into an open area and, like, oh, waste high cover. Yeah. Right. So I know that. And 2 kind of blurs that line. Because, mm. like, you go into a room and there's, like, debris, but it doesn't look like cover. an arena. Yeah. Like, it looks more like a convincing area where, like, oh, there just happens to be guys. And then you go shoot the yep. things. Yeah. It, it basically masks that whole mm. gameplay element so much better than 1 did. Way better. Right. I mean, we should mention, actually, that uh, I, I feel I'm trying to... Uh, the first one going back... I'm trying to go back, but... Like, we, we didn't mention that the gameplay itself in that game was really, I think, one of the first of its kind to bring up that sort of... Not really the uh, first, but one not, of the Maybe the not one of the ones. first, but like that was the kind of refined period. it. Yeah, yeah exactly. it kind of refined it to, to what it is now. Because, you know, now when you think of an action platformer, uh, Uncharted is kind of the baseline. Now, oh, that's right? true. Yeah, yeah. So it basically took that formula... Refined it to a point where now it, it, that's it, the standard. it is the standard. That's that's what people will expect yeah. nowadays. And with Uncharted 2, it came out. And by the way, Uncharted 2 came out on October 15, 2009. Mm. So there's a two year gap for the first game and the second game. It's what got a lot of people that we know to buy it. I got a PS. I got a PS3 literally just for Uncharted. I remember. I remember getting Uncharted 2 Among Thieves and Modern Warfare 2. So mm. like those are the games that like oh I got a PS3. Mm. Definitely gonna get this game. Definitely gonna get these games. And then Uncharted 2 was one of them. And that game did blow my mind. The first, like the first stage, the first thing you see was yeah. pretty much Nathan Drake dangling, dangling from, a train. from a train. Yeah, <laughs> and you already just that alone, you already know that okay, they are literally ramping up the things that Nathan Drake has to take care of. That is still an amazing scene if you look at it like back now. And that's another standard of like because you know with Uncharted they cl- there's a lot of climbing in this game. There's a lot of a lot right um, climbing, and they make it an interesting scenario of where they're climbing because the first climbing session is pretty much you getting out of that dangling train. train. Yeah, and, and it, that's pretty much a lot of there's a lot of situations in that. In like the, there's more of it where like you're dangling in a building like, and like a fall. Like, the, so the scene starts off with him sitting on a chair, then the camera rotates and like oh he's actually straight vertical. Vertical. Yeah, <laughs> and then it looks pans down and it's like a sheer drop into nothing. And then you also happen to have a gunshot. Wound yeah, you're bleeding in, in the ice mountains, and he seems like, to be on. What is happening? No, but what made that scene so interesting, also, like in retrospective, is that it was it, it acted as the tutorial for the game, basically. Yes, mm-hmm. right. So, even though it was a very cinematic scene, it managed to mask the fact that it is the tutorial because everything right. you did here's how you in climb, that scene, yeah. here's how you shoot, shoot, here's how you shoot, here's how you pick up stuff, you know. So, that, that was really, really, was cool. real. yeah, well done. It sets up the mystery of like, how did you end up here? Yeah, exactly. I need to know. And then you're on a tropical island talking to this British guy yep. about this treasure, and like, oh, here it goes, adventure, new that, treasure. That, that's the other cool thing is like they 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 had a good pacing in terms of like how to Two explain the story. Amazing pacing, mm-hmm. compared yeah. To like right off the bat, like not only did they their their way of plotting the different stages that you go through, they even bothered to put in character development in this game. Right like, mm-hmm. from what happened in the first one, you know, Clo- yeah. um, you meet new and old characters, new and then characters. the new characters meet the old characters, and they start to clash in a very interesting way right, because right. like. Elena Fisher, uh, Elena Fisher. Did I say Fisher? Elena Fisher. 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 They're in a more um, complicated situation. In, in, in he broke to, up with the blonde girl, pretty much. And he and meets the super hot girl. Spoilers. <laughs> if you haven't played it, you know you can now. You can now if you want to. But technically, there's like really, really thin ice that uh, that uh, Nathan pretty, has to deal with in between all of those moment. damn um, bullets flying amidst all the gunfire. Yeah, like, they're, they're there's quarrel. a love triangle, and it's as awkward as you'd imagine. I know. Yeah. It's great. And you don't want to. You don't want to also um, count out Victor Sullivan the banter between those two the, mm, the oh old yeah. man with old I thought man. that was Barong he was wearing a Barong I, yeah, that's what I always thought because he's probably he's like in the first just game, a Barong I guess the graphics weren't that great yet but it looked like he had like a work Barong like a short sleeve Barong in the second game you could tell it wasn't really one but it still looks very similar so I don't know. Maybe if Naughty Dog could never confirm what what exactly is the shirt Sullivan is wearing, it's probably a barong, but only in South America. <laughs> like, maybe they call it something yeah. else. No, but the reason why I mentioned Victor Sullivan is because um, another standard they brought up with these kinds of games or the cinematic set pieces where 
on all of this like this grand adventure in between they're gonna do this little bit of funny banter yeah they're gonna in, like in the game like not a cinematic in mid game like mid conversation yeah even going back to Uncharted 1 I remember when they were doing a really um, unusual like really ha- steep climb or like a puzzle or something yeah like, like, they're just talk. making quips toward each other yeah like as you're climbing I remember Nathan saying like I'm seriously gonna climb this seriously yeah he goes he goes through it and he goes to the other side I just got outside again seriously <laughs> like, he, he understands where he is he can't believe it but he still finds. I, I also uh, like the parts when like he's running away, like maybe there's a boulder like falling, like ch- like falling and after him, and he'll be like, no, 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 you know, he'll be like, yeah, talking to himself, trying to psych himself up to like escape this or or not make a jump or whatever. And of course, there's also those uh, hilarious banter between the villain mm. of every single game, especially the second one. Um, another thing with Uncharted Two is the first time they brought in the multiplayer, and that was yes. pretty trippy. That was, that was trippy. something that was totally unexpected because, yeah. like, I guess Uncharted One like was such a first like a single player experience for me uh-huh. that I was like how could they possibly make this into a multiplayer game you know and, I, and I was even afraid that doing so would kind of dilute the whole gameplay but thankfully it, it, it didn't at all and, and the multiplayer itself is pretty solid no it's really the reason why multiplayer was pretty solid is because of the, the gameplay in itself for the me the shooting mm-hmm. is really solid the shooting was actually pretty solid to find that even if with all these amazing like set pieces and like the character progression and story the gameplay could, could hold on its own mm. yeah it's a very because that's pretty much all you need it's a very competent third person cover shooter yeah, so that's why I kind of kind of appreciated the gameplay um, of the Uncharted Two in itself because in multiplayer it really shines. That's all you gotta do. You gotta shoot them. You gotta, uh, you gotta kill them all. <laughs> yeah, and it works really well. And I, I want to shoot people now instead oh, of instead of virtual like, people. <laughs> and I, I'd like to make a, may mention here also like one thing that I really appreciated in the game was also like the kind of the melee uh, attacks, like, which we will talk later because they were uh, refined more in the, the, next the game. third they one, right? Yeah. Per game. But but it was kind of it was really cool like how it would be unique to like the weapon that you were holding at the time to the positioning of the enemy mm-hmm. oh and yeah so like on. the animations would change the animation would change it, 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 exactly so it was cool to kind of look for the like it just felt more natural and as you said when we got to the third game it was even more refined at that point unfortunately the collector's edition does not have multiplayer anymore yes mm. but all the multiplayer bonuses like costumes carried over to the single player now for the HD collection so okay. that's a neat little bonus once you beat the game speaking of Uncharted um, like the MIDI um, now we're going to head over to the Uncharted 3, mm. the, the third game, which came out in November 1 in 2011. Drake's Deception. Drake's Deception. Uh, this was a more, can I say more personal um, version of the game? It was a much more personal story yeah. because it wasn't like someone hiring him or pointing him out towards a treasure. It was something that Nathan Drake has been it's wanting to do since yeah, literally he was a, a personal teenager. Adventure. Yeah. It's a personal thing for this. For and him. you get the backstory of how... Nate and Sully met. Yeah. yeah, that was a good like that was a good direction to start off the game. Whereas you get to understand because uh, you know at this point everybody knows who Nathan Drake is. Everybody knows hmm. who Victor Actually, Sullivan is. Actually, I remember the game starts off quite shockingly because. Um, you know, and this is not really a big spoil because it's right at the beginning of the game, but uh, they get shot, they in, the get shot in an alley. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, yeah. They, you know, it fades to the flash, 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 flashback of him when 20, 20 years ago. Yeah. yeah. So you're like, oh my god, are they dead? And then, you know, the game and I, th- I think the there. setting was like uh, Unchart- uh, Uncharted 2 ends it's like two years after I think two years after mm. and then 3 happens mm. and then um, it's a more personal story to the point where you get a flashback of young Drake 20 years before meeting Victor Sullivan and what Nathan was doing when he was a kid stealing um, stuff stealing stuff as a thief, as yeah. you know, but stealing a specific doing. thing that's really important to him that is the main plot of Uncharted which is 3. interesting because like he does steal the ring in 3 Right. But if you've noticed, he had the ring since the first game. Yeah. Right. So that's a really interesting, like, oh, there's actually that's how we got it. To right. his yeah. So it's like it's like it's pretty much being. Well, we have a ring there. And we here we, we actually do have a replica of the ring on the necklace right it's there. It's the real ring, guys. Oh, it's the real thing. It's the one it. ring. No, 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 no your, your head's no. too fat. You anyway. got <laughs> doesn't want to work. <laughs> but on the, but on, I like the whole fact of that they actually like they showed like Victor, Victor Sullivan has a bigger role now because he's more of a father figure and more of a right. mentor. Um, that's how that's how Nathan Drake came to be. It's because of that old man. And it really makes you appreciate actually their their relationship all the yeah, more. Yeah, it goes all the way back in that. In yep. That part. And I think they, they introduced one more new character. I think his name is Car- uh, Charlie Cutter. Hmm. And oh, see the guy who looks yeah, like Jason yeah, Statham. He looks like Jason Statham. It's very small, but. 
I like that. It's pretty they, cool. No, they give a little bit of character into him as well because he's apparently claustrophobic and all that. Yeah, that was such a yeah. funny little yeah, thing. Yeah, that, but that's just a little thing. But that just shows like that's a pretty cool. Like they really do give character and personality. Yeah, like the personality characters. is so great. Yeah. Like you can remember these characters. Yeah, because despite <laughs> how small their role is, exactly. Like that little moment in the intro when you just walk through the alley to escape. Yeah, and he starts freaking out. <laughs> like why I don't like tight spaces. There, there's a lot of great moments. Like the one I remember very early from early on in the game is when you're playing as a teenager Drake and you're running away from these goons, and at one point you're running through someone's house. Yeah, oh yeah, and, and it's very Aladdin and, and moment. You, and you flip open the the freezer door, it hits the guy passes, in the face. and it hits the guy. In the <laughs> oh yeah, face. it's very it's very like um very, dynamic in yeah. a way. So it's, it's like it a seems movie. dynamic, yeah. And of course, back to the set pieces on on Uncharted Three. It's just. It's up to your personal preference, but it's just as good. Depends on if you like prefer like the set pieces of two. It didn't start just, off as big as two, but then it, it has up. it has some real like the Burning Mansion one where like yeah. we're seriously having a gunfight on the on, second on a, floor yeah. of this burning building, and then right towards, after I outrun a batch of poisonous spiders. <laughs> oh, that did happen. That's right. <laughs> or even the the aircraft scene that was yeah. Me. That's why there's like a, Uncharted Three had a big ramp because like before in Uncharted Two, you start off on a really wild set piece and then. It's like it's a big roller coaster ride. Yeah, it's, yeah, it, it doesn't get as big as that, but yeah. you sort of. Get Uncharted to that three point. like gives like you it, gets, it, like, it goes up, up. <laughs> it really goes up, and you really go up because you go in on an air carrier and then you go uh, all plane, the way yeah. Down. cargo plane, yeah, it, <laughs> and you were like free falling, trying to grab this the, it, all this shit while fighting yeah, someone, while fighting, <laughs> fighting someone. So the set pieces are definitely was not like jotted down or anything. It's like still. <laughs> Completely out of it. It's like really I, crazy. I want to see what it. Nolan North did during all that mocap session. Just like dangling. Like, is he just on strings the whole time? Yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. And of course, this game had multiplayer as well. This it did, it did. And, and, and this is where it really, I think, uh, the best iteration. I'm oh, sorry, no. Before we go to multiplayer, I'm like jumping on to the multiplayer right away. We have to talk about the, the biggest uh, dynamic change, which is the melee combat. Yeah. And that's more dynamic. Yeah, it actually has like more game. legitimate combos. Yeah, it. it's very, very, um, it's more reactive. Yes. Because it also you, had a counter system. That's why. Like, if you see someone about to hit you you press square mm. he does these fancy um, and like, counters and what's cool about it, again it's more dynamic because if you're near a, a bottle you will use the bottle yeah there, there's yeah. like yeah. a grapple and you can do like environmental damage like throw yep. up to the wall and here's a unique animation for that and then he you're gonna shove that. his face in this casino machine or something or in the toilet or whatever yeah with yeah. the big dude yeah, yeah so big in that essence they're just trying to make it more of a cinematic feel even during the music mm. combat and I, that was actually pretty cool another improvement in the third game was like the puzzle segments got way more clever like remember that room with the before the spider area where you had to shift a stone tablet okay. to match these animal shapes and your only hint was you had a torch and if you step on a certain block it would illuminate the floor and right. reveal a shape it reveal the shape and you had to figure out which square goes where according to the those shapes in that particular square. Yeah, yeah so they got way more clever with the puzzles in three which is pretty neat and then you know back to multiplayer if you like the second one you this has more of yeah you <laughs> have more of it it's more of a customized that has a lot more customization than the third one when it comes to multiplayer. After that, Uncharted 3. And from there on, we... Uh, we didn't get any more Uncharted instead. No, we actually we got, got more. The we, we got the Vita one. We got the Vita one. We got the Vita one. That's right. Golden. The third never really ended. Like, they, we just A lot of people wanted more Uncharted. We got more out of um, with Golden Abyss, mm. which came out in the PS Vita. Well, it and got a few comic books. It, 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 it had it, a lot of... That's it, where, yeah, yeah. The, the story we went even further because they had like novels, comic books, and everything to support the franchise. And then I think at one point they also had a... a spin-off card game yes on the Vita then. on the Vita 2 as well so like no, Uncharted know. 3 never really ended after that so yeah. if for example you guys get this and weirdly enough want more there is more there is right. definitely more and then or you just you know you, you can just like get this later you know because Uncharted 4 is like nearly a month away it's, well, at it's, least you can have coming, the whole yeah. set on yeah. one console. Yeah, that, that, that's the big appeal is having this. And in fact, this is actually the superior version of the. Yes, these everything games. loads really fast. Everything is a bit better texture. They load faster, and yeah, it's all on one console, so convenient for for you and for for everyone who wants to try it and get the full story. You know, but if you're sad about the multiplayer being gone, four will have that. Four will have that. So. And, and you know you're yeah, not really we'll have that it's not as if the, the multiplayer from two or three are, is going to be drastically different from four so and if you notice that with one on trying one two and three they it's not more of like a going back going back forward the game the the game progressed got better even the story progressed like on try one it kind of helped them um graphically that it wasn't as um detailed as like the second or the third mm. it just looked like a younger Drake mm. 
because graphics. as through the years, the this graphical, is, it was moving forward. So like Drake the was getting older, got better. so the yeah. graphics were getting better. So he he was you can tell like he's getting worn down, like you know those kinds of um, details. Uh, so it kind of makes sense like from one to three, and the fourth one he looks really old. <laughs> he looks he looks haggard. He's went through a lot. He's, you can let's just say that he went through a lot. Um, you can you know, try to four. It's pretty much um, based on what I know. He starts off with. Elena is like he's of course he's married with Elena and everything. He has a family, he has a, he has a job. He left that whole life, and of course he gets back. Um, is this his midlife crisis? Pulled game? in again? Maybe a midlife crisis. <laughs> we something. don't know. We don't know the story. So we don't well, steal stuff it. again. His brother comes back. He has a brother apparently. Mm. Troy Sam. Baker. Because <laughs> <laughs> why not? Why not? Right? Yeah, why not? Troy Baker's <laughs> everywhere. So it finally happened. This, and then they're saying uh, I'll try it for thieves, and it's going to be the last one, the one that will close. The, the Nathan series, Drake story. story. No, the Uncharted series. Oh, really? The whole yeah, Uncharted. That, that's, what, that's how they're saying. That this is going to be... Uh, you played one, two, and three. This will be the fourth one. So the last one. There you go. This will be the complete package. And they want this to be the... the, the, the so solid it's Drake's franchise. end in multiple ways, maybe? We will see. The end of his story. We will the end see. Of this we will see on May. But Drake May also... It's, it's funny that you mentioned Drake, because I just remember he was in another game that we, we haven't mentioned yet. Oh, he was in PlayStation All-Stars. All-Stars. <laughs> Where the, way the we have Uncharted to... 3 stage was a, was a level yeah, so of Uncharted that. 3 that stage was. was a level. Yeah, but it goes to show what a big like icon he is for the PlayStation brand. Yeah. Uh, he was pretty you know, much like the, the mascot of the PS3 for a long time. Can you say that? Maybe okay. him. Okay. Or, yeah, probably. At least up in the second game, for sure. <laughs> yeah, the, the second game had Crib One of the name. I mean, he's sure. on PlayStation All-Stars. That's true. <laughs> for sure, he's a poster boy. Yep. And I, I also would just like to, to close it. Like I also want to mention that not only is he old, he brings the Charger 4 has the whip. They brought back the they whip. Brought, they brought no, the, not, the, not, not that they brought back the whip. They brought in the, the whip, whip finally. Because I always Indiana thought Jones that the whip, whip was missing with any Uncharted. Like, like he, it's very Indiana Jones. You gotta give him the whip. Watch and there he, be an endgame costume where he just has the hat. Yeah, the, yeah, there, there's there's be, probably a scene where he's gotta switch an idol with a bag of money too. <laughs> and outrun the boulder. And outrun the boulder, boulder after that. Or like he finds some old knight somewhere. I don't da, know. Anyway. There you go, Uncharted. I we can't mind. wait. I'm gonna be playing around with uh, to get more to get a refresher course with like one and three, just to get ready with Uncharted Four yep. when it comes out on May 10 next week. Yes, yeah, next, next, next my, week. My my final thoughts on it. Well, I really like the series. I I especially like the fact that everything that they look for as treasure hunters in the game are based off real life legends. So if you actually yep, the want the road of El Dorado, um, Shambhala, so Shambhala, like that's, that's, that's and the, the lost city of Ubar. Yeah. So if you actually are interested in these things, you can go to Google. You can look these up yourself. Uh, read about these legends, and it's really cool to see how they implemented that, the, the, the some of the facts of that into the game. And of course, there's you know because these are just legends, there's some embellishment, but it's still interesting to see how they they took that those ideas and and, and made them. In the there game. was even a game where you had uh, an Uncharted game where you used Google Maps. Oh, really? It wasn't very good, but more real life stuff. Are you serious? Yes. Anyway, <laughs> there you go. Thanks, guys, for watching. Um, please press that subscribe button if you want to see more of this. Um, if you want to, if you have any other cons- um, thoughts about Uncharted in general, yep. hit the comments. If you want to get into Uncharted, the Uncharted collection is available right now on PlayStation 4. It's a really good it's HD a really collection. good deal. Yeah. All of these stuff three PC, games. I don't know what, if it's available still. 30 plus hours of, of single player content. More, More or less. Maybe, right? Yeah. So well worth the money. And Uncharted 4 Thieves End coming out May 10th. For the PlayStation so 4. Play only for the PlayStation 4. See you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.